Reports this week on a new drug that could mean the difference between life and death in the war against AIDS has AIDS researchers and people even in the White House wanting to know more. Cynthia Allison is here with an exclusive report, understandably getting a lot of attention. A lot of attention. Brad Seidelin just could be a wonder drug, but it's still in the experiment, experimental stage. This is Seidelin, something as simple as antibodies from mice that may become the miracle drug in the war against AIDS. Why the need for such a drug? With a regular virus like the flu, the germ comes and goes because the immune system kills off the virus. With a DNA virus, such as herpes, once you're infected, it won't go away. The same thing happens with HIV. A blueprint of the virus is always there, hiding in your cells. At first, the immune system controls the virus, but with time, HIV causes the immune system to destroy itself. It does that by making the killer cells of the immune system destroy CD4 T cells, which are the helper cells, the ones that turn on the immune system. Without the ability to turn on the immune system, the patient is unable to fight off infection. The average person has about 800 T cells, but as HIV does its dirty work, that number drops. Once it falls below 200, the patient technically has AIDS. Cytolin works by binding to the part of the immune system that is flawed by HIV. As a result, the T cells begin to grow again and kill off the virus. Yeah, a million people are infected with HIV. Yeah. Keep us updated. Thanks, okay. Thank you.